everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And um, I was reading over the uh, you know State of JS report, and one of the interesting things I noticed was this thing called Blitz in in one of the like the user responses. And what this Blitz thing is, it's kind of like a full stack React thing, where it's like built like it melds the back end and front end in the API creation. I haven't really dig, dug too deep into it, but I was I was I was reading the documentation. I noticed a reference to deploying on a website called Render, which I've never heard of before. So that's what this video is for. Um, I just wanted to mention Blitz because it looks cool. So in case that's something you're interested in looking into, look into it. But I found this pretty interesting because I hadn't really heard of Render before. And on at least on first inspection, it looks like it could be sort of like a Netlify, Vercel type competitor. So let's take a look at the pricing before I'll, I'm gonna sign up in a second. We'll, now, I, I do actually like the pricing. The pricing is, is not bad. So basically it's free if you wanna just deploy static sites. So basically what the, the same kind of service that Netlify provides you for free, not necessarily all the features like the forms and the services. <clears throat> but um, if you wanna do like backend stuff, so use it like a kind of Heroku, um, it's $7 a month and I guess it expands. So let's see here. So I guess you're getting like a, I'm assuming you get a dedicated virtual server of some sort, it looks like, based on uh, those numbers. You can get databases. Let's see here, Starter Standard, Standard Plus, and Cron Jobs. That's pretty interesting. Okay, and if you're not familiar with the Cron Job, it's just like an automated process. So you can, so let's say you had like a database and you wanted to write a bash script to like make some, do some pruning of the database you can write that as like and happens at like a particular time the cron being like time so it's a something that happens at a particular time um cool and add an ssd ssd disk, disk for service to store application data when it needs uh, custom plans yeah uh, overall it, it looks pretty interesting so let's try this out okay i'll just use my github uh-huh Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I will pause this while I go hit up the verification email. Okay, I'm all confirmed. And now let's try this out. So services, you, you, have, you can always create static sites, but make sure to add a credit card to continue using render for other services. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the other services right now, but let's see here. Let's just do a static site, okay. If I go to the static site, let's take a look. Enter a, oh, I just have to enter the URL. You have no connected repositories, connect your GitHub or GitLab account. Oh, so no Bitbucket. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll connect my GitHub account. Uh, all repositories, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's doing the thing. Okay, I want to look up my thing for testing these kind of things. Test repo. Okay. Let's try that out. Test. Deploy the main command. There's no build command. It's just literally like a hello world HTML file. Create the static site. Let's just see what's here under advanced. You can add environmental variables. Regular environment, for example, OS env, process env. In node, you can store secret files like env. And render, okay, add a secret file. All secret files you create are available to read at your root repo or Docker context. They will also be available to load by absolute path. That's cool. Uh, I'll deploy every push. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we have continuous integration or continuous deployment. Nice. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Let's open it up. It didn't open. Oh, I didn't build correctly. Let's see, maybe why? Oh, because it's still building. So here we go. It's uploading the build. Empty build command. Skipping build. It's doing the thing. Okay, now the site is live. So now let's try it. Hello world. Good. Okay, so that works. So let's see some of these other features here. Deploy. Okay, so that's just like a log. Environment, environment variables, secret files, linked environment groups. Interesting, redirects, rewrites. Add, redirect, and rewrite rules to modify requests to your site without writing code. You can use URL format. Ooh. 
Nice. You can create redirect rules. I like that quite a bit. Um, I mean, you can do that on Netlify. We have to do it in like the Netlify.toml. This is kind of nice to be able to just kind of do it in the GUI. Uh, headers, HTTP headers inject response to inject response headers and static site responses. You can also use wildcards. Okay, cool. I can add like my course headers there. Pull request previews disabled. That's uh, sure. Okay, and then sharing metrics, settings, deploy hook. Okay, so that's if you want to like automate deployment. Um, that'd be useful for like a Gatsby site. So basically what you do is you would set up like maybe a cron job on your local computer that just makes a request to this thing at a set time each day to trigger like a regular deployment to update, you know, stuff. Let's see what some of these others. A render.yaml file specifies your render infrastructure as code. That's cool. Create your database minutes, envi environment groups, I guess that's so you can have like groups of environmental variables, uh, add-ons, let's take a look. Like database logging and monitoring. Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. I am pretty uh, stoked to have to be aware of this. So now you know about Render. You can deploy your website on Render like you could deploy it to Vercel or Netlify. Um, hopefully uh, you learned about a cool new service in this video. Uh, enjoy. I'll see you all later.